day is celebrated the dedication of the Basilica of St. John, Latin in Rome. The mother and mistress of all the churches in the city and the world. For being the episcopal seat of the Pope as Bishop of Rome, it ranks even above St. Peter's. Fausta, the concert of Constantine the Great gave a Lateran palace to Pope St. Miltiades in about 313 and on 9th November 324. Pope St. Sylvester I solemnly consecrated part of it as the Basilica of the Most Holy Saviour the first instant of a public consecration of a church. The ceremony was in all probability a relatively simple one, but the elaborate ritual with the, which a church is solemnly dedicated today was known to have already been in use in the ninth century. What remained of the palace served as a Resident, residents for the popes over the next thousand years and today serves as museum. Between the 4th and 16th centuries, 5th Ecumenial, Ecumenical Councils and 20 Synods were held in this basilica. Since the 12th century, it has been known as St. John Lateran. In honor of Saints John the Baptist and John the Evangelist. In fact, the Lateran was then to the Catholic world what the Vatican City is today. The seat of judgment and the center of government in the church. The original structure and its successors have suffered the ravages of war earthquake and fire, the full baroque remodeling and the decoration of the present structure were executed by Francisco Baromini under Pope Innocent X in 1646. One of Rome's most imposing churches, St. John has a towering facade built by Alexander Galilee in 1000. 735, crowned with 15 colossal statues that include one each of Christ, John the Baptist, John the Evangelist, and 12 doctors of the church. Among the outstanding relics which are preserved in this great shrine of Christendom are said to be the heads of the saints Peter and Paul. Encased in silver busts beneath the high altar rest remnants of the little wooden table on which St. Peter used to celebrate Mass in the house of Pudence and the sacred table of the Last Supper of our Lord.